I look on myself kind of like a farmer, you know, I got to get up in the morning, get the chores done uh, early, and then, uh, you know, I uh, either walk or take a little short cab ride about 20 blocks to the hospital. I honestly try to say to myself every morning, what would it be like if that were me that's going to be a recipient of care? Good morning, guys. How are you? I get in here between 6 and 6.30 so that I'm able to uh, get some of my chores done before the start of you know, the day, which is like 7.30 or 8 o'clock. Okay. That's for my secretary. Okay, let's do it, baby. Draw it in the, from a syringe and a butterfly if you can. Okay. Take the, the vacuum off the tube. It's got to be one of the greatest professions. If you are given the opportunity to be a doctor, this is one of the finest privileges that you could have. A hospital, in my opinion, should be one of the finest expressions of what we are as people. You can come to a hospital, it doesn't matter what happened to you, somebody's going to try to find a way to help you. There's nothing more important to success than working as a team. Every aspect of what we do in taking care of people has to be built on the trust of the team. We should ask Dr. Rubino yeah. to look at it. Just like what's the way, best way to divide up the yeah. obese patient? The date of this course is uh, September 18. Great. Uh, but for the team, the meeting is on August 27. That's great. When I'm operating on a patient, I'm thinking about the kids that are out in the waiting room. I'm saying, like, by God, I'm going to find a way to, to fix this, to make this person better. We are constantly looking at trying new types of approaches to treating diseases. That's one of my uh, missions in life, just to make sure that we are staying on the forefront of how to, how to treat intestinal diseases. You're eating well, Al. That yeah, I'm not worried about. Feeling good. Things. No, okay. I feel stronger. I feel I'm making progress. I was you kind have. of surprised that they told me my blood was low. And and I'll probably let's say let's just keep stay on the mark. Let me see in six months though. Okay. Is that all right? My name is Linda Wong, and I'm living a happy, healthy, normal life. And no one would know, looking at me, that I was dangling on the edge of death at the time that. I found Dr. Milsom. He examined me and he said, uh, we can do this. There are no words to describe the gratitude that I have towards Dr. Milsom. He gives so much of himself in every possible way that, you know, there's no way that you wouldn't have the courage to live on with someone like that fighting for you. Doctors of that caliber, I think, are very rare and amazing. To, to think that you are allowed to have someone trust you, be given the chance to get them better. Or, and, and really, it's a privilege, actually. And when you, re, when you see the patient in the office a week or a month later, and, they, and you say, how are you? And they go, I'm good now, I'm okay. You're like, how could you have a better job than that?